It has been evident for some time that crossover SUVs are where the action is in the US market. The selection at Buick, however, has been slow to grow. True, the large, three-row enclave has been around since the 2008 model year, and in 2013 Buick was one of the first to field a subcompact crossover, the pint size Encore, which turned into a surprise hit. But in the vast space between those bookends, Buick's shelf was empty. That situation finally ended earlier this year with the arrival of the Envision. That new model made some waves with the news that it would be assembled and imported from China A first for a domestic brand car sold in the United States, the first made in China car to come here was the long wheelbase version of the Volvo S60, called Inscription. Between big and little. Size-wise, the Envision could be considered a compact, its 107.9-inch wheelbase is some 2 inches larger than that of the Acura RDX or the Lincoln MKC but less than the span between the axles of the Volvo XC60 or the Audi Q5. At 183.7 inches overall, the Envision is 4.5 inches longer than the Lincoln, fractionally longer than the Audi and the Volvo, and just shy of the Acura. With herds of crossovers populating the nation's roadways, and the barrage of advertising that accompanies them, the Envision probably can t help but look at once familiar and forgettable. If it has a distinguishing exterior design element, it has the Buick family waterfall grill. The platform the Envision rides on serves also as the foundation for the recently unveiled 2018 Chevrolet Equinox, and presumably the next GMC terrain. The Envision snuck in at the tail end of the 2016 model year wearing its best buds a 2.0-liter turbocharged engine, all-wheel drive, and a premium trim level but for 2017 the lineup has been fleshed out. That means the arrival of a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder base engine, three lower price trim levels, and available front-wheel drive. Our test drive took us to Western Massachusetts from a starting point in Kingston, New York, home of the state's first capital before a move to Albany meant that city would be the one to become synonymous with political corruption. We first drove a front drive 2.5 liter in mid pack essence trim, which is as fancy as it gets for the base engine. Below the essence are the base and preferred trim levels, above it is a premium, which gets the 2.0 turbo as standard. The starting price of this configuration is $38,645, which is $3,645 more than the entry model and $1,850 above the preferred. Standard equipment for the essence includes leather upholstery, heated front and rear seats, power front seats, a backup camera, passive keyless entry, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, and an 8.0-inch touchscreen with Buick S Intel link along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Our car added navigation, a standalone option for a reasonable $495, the considerably more spendy panoramic sunroof, $1,495, and metallic paint, $395, for a total of $41,030. What is the rush? Underway, the immediate first impression is of quietness and smoothness. Ride quality is unusually good, and bumps barely register. The 18-inch wheels wear 60-series tires, and those tall sidewalls no doubt add to the cushioning effect. Out on some twisty roads in the foothills of the Catskill Mountains, however, the Envision clearly didn't want to be hurried, and the low-effort steering is rather lifeless. Nor is the 2.5-liter inline for particularly high energy. It's 197 horsepower and 192 pounds to foot of torque are low for the segment, and acceleration is leisurely. The engine has 22 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway ratings, with front wheel drive, however, top those of the aforementioned competition save for the XC60, which manages 23 miles per gallon city and 30 miles per gallon highway in their past testing. All Envisions have an auto-stop, start system that cannot be switched off. Buick engineers say they decided to forego a defeat switch but programmed the system to be less aggressive than some in its shutdown behavior to make it less annoying. 
After a restart, for instance, it won't t turn off the engine again while creeping along in stop and go traffic so long as speeds stay below 8 miles per hour. Next we drove the 2.0-liter turbo. All-wheel drive is standard with this engine, and it has a different AWD system than can be optioned with the 2.5-liter. This one, similar to that used in the Cadillac XT5 and the all-terrain version of the GMC Acadia, uses a clutch in the transaxle to engage drive to the rear when needed. General Motors claims it can send up to 100% of the available torque to either the front or the rear axle, versus a claim maximum of 70% for the lesser system. A pair of clutches in the rear differential then a portion to work across that axle to the side with more grip. Deficit erased. A more sophisticated all-wheel drive system is nice, but you want the 2.0 liter for its livelier acceleration and more responsive chassis. The engine has 252 horsepower and 260 pounds to foot of torque erase the energy deficit in the 2.5 liter. The standard all-wheel drive and GMS Hyper Strut front suspension also exclusive to this powertrain effectively squelch any torque steer. This model features quicker steering and firmer damper tuning, although the goal here remains a smooth, comfortable ride, which is achieved despite the larger, 19-inch wheels and 50-series tires. The 2.0-liter version is a more willing companion when the pavement deviates from the straight and narrow, but we still wouldn't call it sporty. Unlike many competitors, Buick offers no selectable drive modes here, and that's fine, although it would be nice to have more say in the six-speed automatic S gear selection during energetic driving. As it is, with either engine, the driver is limited to A plus slash button on the gear lever, which works only after shifting into low. We get that the Envision isn't T catering to aggressive drivers, but shift paddles would be welcome. Otherwise, our top spec premium, fitted with a premium 2 package, was pretty well loaded. Features include a head-up display, a configurable instrument cluster with integrated LCD screen, forward collision warning, automatic parking assist, and a trick video inside the rearview mirror introduced in the Cadillac CT6. An optional driver confidence package, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, 360-degree view cameras, a panoramic sunroof, and metallic paint pushed the final tab to $49,320, and an Envision can potentially exceed $50,000. For that kind of scratch, a glance around at the interior may leave one thinking, it tests nice, but whereas the wow factor? Yes, the rest leather with contrast stitching, yes, the touch points are padded surfaces rather than hard plastic, and yes, the central screen is sharp, connectivity features are up to date, and the controls are logical. But overall, the interior design is as quiet as the interior itself, save for the expanses of grey toned wood trim in our example. Functionally, the Envision cabin earned no demerits, with easy ingress, egress, comfortable seats, and a decent seating position. The bass of the windshield isn't t too far away, but the A pillars are a little thick. Stowage space is plentiful. The rear seat also affords easy access and is roomy for two with a flat floor and an adjustable backrest, although it s narrow for three. In the essence and upper trim levels, backbenchers find two USB ports and one 12-volt outlet, back controls, and heated outboard seats. The nicely finished cargo hold has a reasonably low lift over height as well as handles to drop the rear seat backs should you need to accommodate more than 27 cubic feet of chattels. That cargo figure places it just ahead of the MKC and the RDX but behind the Q5 and the XC60. The Envision effectively ticks all the boxes for compact crossover shoppers without standing out in any particular area say perhaps ride comfort. In the current crossover mad marketplace, that's probably enough. Indeed, since the Model S arrival in May, it has been the quickest selling Buick. It has the right shape and the right size, and it needn't be anything more, anything more.